Hi, I'm William Osman, and uh, today was supposed to be a project video, but it started raining, and uh, I broke my Wii Fit, but that's not going to make any sense to you since you haven't seen that video. So instead, we're laser cutting bread. But we're not just cutting bread, we're going to toast it too, because one day your toaster might be broken. Ah, okay, I swear to God, no more bees, that's the last time. Safety first-ish. I think we should start things strong by just vaporizing this piece of bread. Full power, about three inches away from the bread. Let's focus closer to the bread and see if we can get the laser to punch through a little faster. Now we'll try to cut the corner off. This slice doesn't look horrible. It's not completely charred, but I'm going to go out on a limb and say it tastes bad. Everything we've cut on this laser tastes bad. It smells bad. <laughs> Yeah, it's, it's the same, it's that same really burnt and bitter taste. Not as intense as the hot dog though. Do you want to eat it, cameraman? Should we try to make her eat it? Uh. <laughs> now we're gonna cut shape out of the bread. That worked really well. Now we need to find a cat. Now that we've removed the crust from our bread, we can go ahead and make our toast. Maybe let's do two experiments at once. Should we butter the toast before toasting it, and will the laser toast bread? It's a lot of butter. I mean, you have to hold low power for a long time, like that's how a toaster works. You can't put high power for a short time or you're just gonna burn your toast. It's gonna look like toast, it's gonna taste like charcoal. It just, it looks like the steak, it looks like grill marks, like we grilled bread, which I, it's kind of what toast is though, so. My guess is the pre-buttered one, actually. If I really had to guess what's gonna be the least worst. Just tastes like buttered bread. Post-buttered. Tastes like burnt bread with butter. This is uh, no butter. Burnt bread. Now let's make some French toast. Wee oui, wee. Oui. Nice. What kind of French topping should we put in our French toast? I'd like to start this one off by saying it's not going to work at all. I guarantee it. It's way too thick and we're gonna have some real burnt toast. Real burnt bread slices. I'm not really sure what it is. I don't think it's toast though. Are you ready to punish gluten? We're gonna need another pass. The bread's literally gonna just catch on fire. You know, it could be worse actually. The bottom stuff is really, really burnt because the beam is starting to lose power so it's just burning stuff instead of vaporizing a path through it. This is gonna taste bad and I don't really wanna eat it. No. Nope. Since it actually cut through instead of completely lighting the toast on fire, uh, I think we're obligated to cut another, another piece, like a full slice, an actual piece of toast, I guess. Sliced bread. This is the worst thing since sliced bread. doesn't work. Screw that. I know how to fix it. All right, now we just gotta break it off and re-expand it. Oh, wow, well, breakfast is ready, kids. Who wants toast? Well, since we messed the first breakfast, since we messed that toast up, I figured we got to uh, come up with a different piece of breakfast food. It's almost as thick. Cutting the bagel in three, two, one. I'm gonna follow the uh, profile of the bagel by slowly moving the, uh, cutting it up so it doesn't collide. Did it pretty good. It's gross. It just tastes gross. What did we learn? Don't cut bread with a laser. Whoever suggested this should be ashamed of themselves. If you've got a suggestion for a better science project involving a terrifying laser cutter, leave it in the comments below and we probably won't do it. <laughs> Maybe, there's a chance.